So, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to Hackmeda's interaction session with all the team members uh, with whom you have interacted during your summer training. As well as we have our Hackmeda founder, Hackmeda Canada founder available with us, Mr. Sumit Dhamma. Uh, we'll have a quick introduction to uh, what is his vision about Hackmeda, as well as if you have any queries related to what you all can do and how you can groom your career well, along with any technical or any career oriented query, you can quickly go for it. You can unmute your mic, we'll go uh, one by one, we'll go and we'll, we'll keep this interactive. Along with, we'll be sharing a lot of resources in case if you need any. So we'll, we'll have this discussion in that way. Interactive along with a lot of resources will also be provided to you. So uh, over to you, uh, Sumit sir. Let's have a yep. quick uh, introduction. Okay. Yeah. Hi, hi everyone. This is Sumit. My full name is Sumit Dhamma. Well, I am a so, data engineer with American Express here in Canada. I was in US. I recently moved to Canada. <clears throat> so I look. Uh, I mean, so far in my journey, I have been a DBA. I don't know if you guys know DBA is like database administrator. I started my career as an Oracle DBA. That was like a fascinating technology that time, and I was like very interested in that. And slowly, slowly, gradually, I just moved moved to like data engineering field. So what is data engineer? What I do actually with American Express? What's my business basically? And what's the uh, scope for you guys maybe like in future in this? So what, what actually we do, we are the business, um, I would say credit card company. And all of you know like what is credit card, right? So it's not the only business. We do lending, we do, you know, merchant, corporate, we do loans to big companies, we run businesses and everything, right? And being a data engineer, like what is most important for any company is the data, data part. Like you have to store it somewhere, you have to say, keep it safe, you have to give it to the machine learning team, you have to give it to the your Salesforce team, anyone, like whomsoever, or maybe the, your application is running, your real live application where your transactions are happening. Where are you saving this data, your real card transaction? that has to be encrypted, that has to be saved in the right platform. So this is my job. So I have to analyze the application. I have to find out which platform. Doesn't matter whether it's a relational database, is a NoSQL. Doesn't matter if you want to store a data set coming from uh, like social media or any media. So where to store? What is the right platform to save it? So we build the whole infrastructure. We suggest this is the performance, from performance to the right infrastructure, to the licensing and everything we do. I mean, that's a little overwhelming. And sometimes like I, I wanted to do only one machine learning model and good to go. But that's not the job really you will get to do because once you are in the like in the real world, you have to do a lot of things. So uh, this is what I do personally. Um, and you can go back to the LinkedIn and check my profile. My name is Somad Dhamawa. Then you, I can be easily found over there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, in terms of like you guys have completed training and I'm very, very sure because personally I have been involved in these trainings since beginning. So I know how they want you and Yash has taken you guys and you may be on different level. But what's the what's the real scenario now? Like what's the next? So your your learning never stopped with just uh, you know certified with Microsoft. This is one of the great milestone that you have covered because I've seen a lot of people they just start this thing but never completed these certificates. And these days, because machine learning, data science, L, uh, even the AI is a very new term, like very fascinating. Everybody's talking about it. So somebody who has the certificate about in, in these technology, at least as a company, I am assured, even though you do not have much experience in this field, but you have done something. You have studied. That's how you have cleared your certification. It means you know something about it. So that really matters. What's next to do actually? So, you know, let's say, for example, I will tell you a recent job like uh, coming from the Google itself. So now you see Google, it's a big company and uh, like there are other companies, even including my company. So first two rounds, it doesn't matter what technology you know. First two rounds, it's your basics, your data structure part, your algorithm part, your programming, any preference programming. Now you guys are comfortable Python. I would love to stick to you guys too with Python. Prepare your data structure. We have a lot of courses, I don't know, like Devanshu and Yash, but that's that's the core. Without the data structure, without algorithm, you cannot go to that level where you're actually giving your interview for Python. Or, I mean, I would say machine learning and everything. 
So the next step is actually your machine learnings. So it depends company to company. You have to understand what domain you are looking for. When I say domain, let's say your father may have some business or maybe he's working somewhere. So he's working for a specific company. That specific company gives some specific service. So that company has a domain of that service. Let's say I'm working for a credit card company. So my domain is finance. Google is a software company. So their domain is service provider because they provide services. Uh, Hackveda is actually educational e-learning company. So the, our domain is e-learning. So that's how you have to find out your domain exactly to, to, to in which you are interested. And according to that, prepare your machine learnings, prepare your learnings, interviews and everything. Let's say what would be the most beneficial for us as a credit card company, as a finance industry. I want you to know like, what is fraud transaction, what is not. I want you to know when Yash has applied for a loan, should I give it to him instantly or not? How would you recognize your model should know instantly, right, on fly? Because Yash is a very, very loyal customer to me. He has taken so many loans, he has written back. The next loan that he is coming from him, I don't want to wait him like for two or three days for decision because he is like a powerful man. He can go to the, some other company. So your model should be that much strong enough that you have done all the background check on him. And according to the score, prediction score, you will say yes or no approval. So that kind of uh, use case scenarios you have to do. So uh, I would say start, uh, I mean, machine learning, you do not say like stop machine learning because this is my third round or fourth round of interview. No way, you never know. Maybe you are not going for Google, but maybe you are going for different company and their first interview first round and first question would be related to machine learning because they are really interested to know like whether you know machine learning or not. So prepare it, but algorithm, data structure and programming has to be strong to go into good companies and good profile. The best part is that all other companies, including my companies, we are like very, very naive in this industry. And you guys are like Hackweather is teaching you like way beyond to be honest, tr truly, because when I know you are doing a sentiment analysis, a time series, and you are actually doing text to speech there, these are the new invention going on in the companies, right? Even my company still is working in very, very simple, simple uh, algorithms. And they're not building algorithms, by the way, they're using their third party vendors like TensorFlow and other XGBoost. And there are a lot of algorithms package, which has been already tested, community version and everything. So you guys have to keep exploring, keep learning, take more courses. I mean, now you're certified, good to know that. But the next step is that dig down into the packages which are famous, like TensorFlow is very famous. XGBoost is very famous. There are like, uh, now you know what is the difference between this uh, uh, machine learning uh, algorithm and this machine algorithm, but find a real use case where you can deploy. Look for Kaggle. There are a lot of use cases, a lot of people are participating. So that's how you will grow. And regarding the salary part, to be honest, I didn't know that. Like in, even when I was in US, US has the highest uh, salary for everything. But when I came to Canada, everybody said oh, like salary part is like a little low over here. But I'm so surprised that when I came to Canada, machine learning and data science is a hot topic and they're ready to give any salary. All you just have to show your confidence that you will take care because they don't know what to do with the data. They just know an engineer who can actually create some model and do some prediction and everything. Slowly, slowly, when you go into the company, you will learn, okay, this is what the requirement, this is what we have to do. So you will learn according to the pace of company, but this is the best time to go into industry. So I would recommend you yeah, keep learning. Uh, um, you have certificate. I don't know if, if some of you have experience or not. If not, then you have to be too much active in the like, you know, community itself. Yeah. So well, that's all I think. I mean, for, for me, this is what they we need. I mean, if I have to take your interview, I will first judge you on your algorithm part. If you do not know algorithm, uh, I don't know what to say, like, because you cannot write, you cannot judge the code you're writing, the Python program you're writing, would it run faster or not? How would you say, hey, this is my code, run it. And I will say, listen, my company is a small company. We cannot uh, afford like that much memory, that much CPU and all. Now tell me, can you run this program with the limited resources or not? That time you should know my program will take that much resources, that much CPU, that much cores, everything, right? That's called like, that will come from your algorithm analysis, your best way. 
if something is not working you should be able to change on fly you should be able to use different data structure to store your data and display in another method so that's the basic and then machine learning uh, uh, python uh, to be honest uh, you guys are learning good but in companies most of the companies we are still for uh, like wanted to know whether you are good in python and then the machine learning the good part is that interviewer who's taking your interview you, you never know he may be very interested in machine learning and he has like vast knowledge in it or maybe he's a new person so it's it's all luck but from your side you should be always ready with each and every aspect of the interview okay yeah uh, well that's all from my side i mean if you guys have any open question any like any confusion what to do what should you study and what should you i mean anything whatever you want to ask yeah so uh, guys before you ask any question i would like to uh, share certain path which we already had discussion with mr sumit he has given you a quick brief that you have got knowledge about machine learning algorithms you have done a certification and now every individual industry works on a specific domain there are specific case studies specific uh, areas wherein you need to focus where machine learning can be applied and what all products can be designed so one thing we already had a discussion when we were having this training our summer training program we have shared one corporate benchmark document with you wherein all the corporate industries has been distributed i hope you all remember i hope you all have got that document in case if you don't have it it is available on your trello cards you can quickly check back and let me just share that with you as well so that you can define what all different types of industries are available and what end product you can design in so these end products has to be visible in your resume if you are building a resume to become a data scientist you should have all these different specific case studies in your resume in form of projects but as he told when you will apply somewhere they will quickly check out your resume they'll see what all projects you have done what all certifications you have done which institution you belong to mostly such things are being identified once you're done with that you will go round by round various different stages will be conducted so uh, a couple of months back me and sumit sir were uh, having a discussion where we were we were having a discussion on how to exploit career opportunities of being a data scientist at big organizations like american express like facebook google what is the right way what is the right process to move on so sir i hope if you remember we had a we had an interview mail which uh, sumit sir has already been he has an experience working with facebook earlier so i would like to bring in that uh, here so that you can ask legitimate questions and you will get to know what a company expects when they uh, hire a specific professional or when they seek a specific position when they seek a professional for a specific position in the company so let me just share that document with you uh, just hold on for a minute there yeah. anyone should there Okay, guys. Here, so let me just share that with you here. So I hope my screen is visible to everyone. And when it comes hey, to, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So can I continue? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So here, guys, as you can see, whenever someone applies for a company. let's say for data scientists because that is more relevant to you how to become a data engineer when you apply what a company expects and what kind of information they would like to provide you in order to prepare well for a corporate interview so here i would like to read out a mail so that you have that in mind that what will be the process when you apply somewhere so here let's say we have got a mail from uh, facebook 
from uh, the from the hiring department and this subject says technical phone screen with facebook okay when you apply the first step is to get started with a technical phone screen and in that what they suggest uh, let's say uh, you all can read that mail which is available over here i would like to read it out loud to everyone so hi sumit thank you again for taking time to speak with us it was a pleasure chatting with you i have included the data engineer job description and preparation questions that we discussed please let me know if you have any questions also let me know a few dates that would work to arrange a phone interview with one of our team members we are comfortable scheduling anywhere from 1 to 4 weeks out whatever works best for you and there are certain sites which they have shared so as to get started with the preparation so they have suggested the main source for coding and sql preparations because coding would be the first thing wherein they identify are you able to write appropriate logic or not which sumit sir have already told you that you should work up work out on the data structures part your algorithms part because that will be more important when you apply in a company so here as you all can see the first website is leadcode.com which facebook itself prefers to get started with the coding wise problems wherein you can quickly start from different category of problems you can at the right hand side there are top hit questions from amazon facebook google linkedin and a lot more along with you can identify different questions with easy medium and hard uh question levels along with uh, what kind of interview questions you would like to see top 100 top interview questions from the companies and so on so you can explore this site at the at the right hand side you again have the topics which are generally asked in the interviews so you can go topic wise you can prepare yourself to identify data structures like arrays techniques like random programming mathematical equations string manipulations and string uh, string operations so there are a lot of stuff then search operations like dfs bfs and there are so many things post that in case if you would like to prepare company wise then there is a list of corporate questions which a specific company asks because every individual company has a dedicated product line and they have certain dedicated problem statements within within that line so if you know those problem statements if you have that logic in mind that how i can clear that problem out how how i can make a solution then uh, it is more probable that you will be hired with that company so this is one thing which you can practice along with let's say if you are applying for data engineer or data scientist positions then knowledge of databases knowledge of data queries is very important okay it is fine that you are going to get the data but the most important process is collection of the data storing it somewhere and reading out that data so that you can make it uh, usable with your python codes so that you can apply algorithms on it and you can perform all the uh, standard benchmarks like risk model or knowledge discovery process you will be able to apply over once you have the appropriate data available so you should practice sql database questions as well that what all basic operations are available like how to combine tables how to identify salaries and at highest salary rank scoring duplicate mails and a lot of stuff is available over here which you can explore so these are first two main sources to get started as a data engineer for a data engineer position or for a data scientist position now this is one such source along with they also recommend that you should be able to work with multiple different platforms and different types of problem sets with a mixture of easy medium and difficult problems so there are options you can try facebook code lab one of our favorite is crack the coding interview which is uh, a dedicated resource from a couple of years because they identify appropriate questions and you can utilize this book in order to understand what kind of questions every individual company is asking along with now we have uh, one of the nicest one which is career cup career cup is a very nice website which you can explore over here and again it is similar to lead code it has more easy and complex questions along with company wise questions and the solutions as well 
so individual people have applied the solutions here as well that if there is a problem what should be the best solution for that specific problem so in case if you want to filter facebook you can filter facebook questions what kind of questions facebook is asking in and you can see that they are working with dictionaries hash maps and they want to extract some sample strings out and there are so many different problems so now once you are ready with python programming you are a certified programmer now what we want is you should be working out on these problems you should read these problems out make a solution in python so that you will become more comfortable with python programming one programming language is sufficient in order to write any specific product or in order to write a script in order to automate something so python is a very nice programming language but you will be able to excel yourself once you are ready with different types of solutions for different problem sets so that you guys should uh, work on okay i hope uh, this is clear to all of you along with there were certain more resources like there are interview questions with sql and uh, the phone screen questions by get that job at google and get that job at facebook job post so you can quickly explore them so that you will get to know when you apply for a company what kind of phone screen questions generally people ask so there are questions related to anti patterns acid test and there are different other stuffs as well so number one area is coding along with what kind of questions are being asked out and how you have to respond it so i'm sharing this link with all of you so that you can prepare well for individual opportunities which are available so i'm sending this to all of you on chat here so you can quickly understand what kind of phone screen questions are generally being asked how you can prepare them what kind of problem statements are available on career cup and lead code and how you have to uh, overcome those problems so these are the two things which you can quickly explore so as to prepare yourself well now once you are prepared well what is the next step you need to go so you are clear with your data structures you are clear with algorithms you know machine learning artificial intelligence you can explore more mathematical equations in order to test them with different case studies of machine learning kaggle is a very nice resource wherein you can draw a lot of problem statements there are data thons happening with various different companies so you can appear with that data thons as well and once you find yourself prepared once you are have done various number of projects then you can proceed to linkedin.com slash jobs so this is one such source there are so many recruitment resources available wherein you can find out what uh, are the recruitment trends what are the specific topics companies are asking today so that you can groom yourself well according to a specific company and what requirement they have and most likely you will be able to clear your uh, interviews along with you will be able to seek that job position in case if you are proceeding towards uh, a service profile so here when you go here you can quickly search for a job let's say i would like to search for a data engineer job you can quickly search for a location as well so here the location is india and i would like to see all the question all the types of jobs which have been available since last month so there are around 2986 jobs available for a uh, data scientist along with you can quickly go for internship level entry level and associate level jobs initially as a fresher so you can apply that as well as in case if you are looking for any specific company you can quickly explore list of companies here uh so you can quickly search how many companies we have uh, wherein people are working you who are working on data science and machine learning and kind of that stuff you can do uh and there are where easy application options with linkedin is available so there are a lot of options so now as you can see here the first one is java big data engineer at american express is a job available at bangalore and glad to show you that sumit thamar sir is a recommendation here so sir can we can we how you can help us in <laughs> recommendation yeah if you just open this job like let's look into the job yeah so you will easily understand what do we want yeah 
So we are here at Java Data Engineer, big data engineer at American Express. So here it is. It's an American Express job posted 11 hours ago. Uh, nobody has applied till now uh, since it's, uh, it's open just now. We have two connections working here, Anmol Kumari and Mr. Dharma. Then you have uh, other information available like the job description. So in the job description, you can see that uh, they are working with American Express is looking for something, something. Uh, you can have a good read here. So Hadoop, Hadoop file system, MapReduce, Hive, HBase, Pig, and Java. So this is generally, this comes under big data technologies wherein Hadoop, MapReduce, and all these stuffs are done. You can also uh, proceed towards a big data program once you are done with machine learning course with Python. Now the next thing which you can do is you can proceed towards our big data program as well, which is highly uh, industry oriented, wherein various products we have designed on marketing uh, products with, uh, I think, uh, yes, we have done various projects on this big data I hope, wherein we have done market basket analysis and there are various different projects we have done on big data. Yeah, so, uh, let, let me add the one show over here. So uh, let's say this particular job is actually, if you see, it's they want you to be expert in Java because you need to do code. And the other thing is that big data engineer. So we want to write some solutions which can manage the big data itself. Uh, this is different job. This is not a machine learning yeah. job. But let's say if you have a machine learning job and why do you need to know Hadoop? Why do you need to know uh, uh, this uh, big data stuff? Yeah, so I'll you take are, machine learning. Yeah. Let me take them to machine learning jobs. Yeah, even the machine learning, you have to have no uh, how to why. I mean, there's a big question is that let's say you have a data set. You yeah. cannot always go with the API, right? Sometimes you have to store internet, your customer, your sensitive data should be in your platform. So we have our own big data platform. We store every data over there. But let's say if you are a machine learning or data scientist and you want to create a model, you need a data set from where you will read. You will read from Hadoop. That time you have to figure out how to read from Hadoop. It could be Hive, it could be Kafka streaming, it could be any other your program. So that's how you need to know how HDFS system works, how Hadoop works, how big data platform works. How can I read data? How can I store my models? It's not like you created a model and just leave it over there. You have to store it somewhere. And when it sizing, the size of the data goes like one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte then you don't have options to store in a normal relational or NoSQL. You have to go inside that corner store and all, I mean, the big data platform and store it. So that's how you should have knowledge of that platform as well. Right, absolutely. So uh, here, I would like to continue from here. So here, as you can see, there are, there are various different jobs available with machine learning and with data scientists. So let's take up one. Let's say we'll go with data scientist at Philips at Bangalore. So here it is open. Now here they are hiding the talent and what kind of uh, skills they are looking in. They're looking for, okay, they are matching with me. That won't be required. Okay, so here it is. You are responsible for, uh, here, you are responsible to build proof of concept and develop problem solutions. Uh, then you need to understand algorithms with AI techniques, machine learning, deep learning, along with you need to have good programming knowledge about Python. You should understand machine learning concepts and applications. Then you should understand experience with realization of clinical solutions. And there are various different types of project execution experience you should have along with a good team communication and so on and so forth. So there are various different jobs available, which you can explore here and you can understand what all they are offering in. So now let's say there is another job at WNS Global Services, which is asking that you need to have hands-on experience with logistic, clustering, random forest, support vector machine, nave bias, gradient boosting machine, and deep learning. So we have already had an experience with data IKU wherein you can quickly test all these different algorithms with different types of data sets and you can identify which one is best. Along with, you can either export your code to Python and R, as well as you should have an experience with big data technology. Plus, you can also explore visualization tools like Tableau, but 
Tableau is like a little outdated now. If you are using data IKU, you will be able to make much better visualizations than Tableau. So these are certain things. So uh, now, and there are certain certifications which they are, uh, which they accept. So if you have any recognized certifications, that will be accepted. So Microsoft is a recognized certificate, but that's not specific to machine learning. In case if you want to do a machine learning certification, you can go with data IKU certification. Along with there are certain cattle competitions which are happening where you can take part and you can get started. So that's an that's an associate level job, and these basic things they are looking in. So they want R programming and knowledge of various algorithms like random forest, logistic regression. You need to understand data science benchmarks. You need to have a bachelor's degree. And that's it. So uh, there are so many uh, options available over here, which you can quickly explore and you can identify what basic things industry is asking it today. So if you have, uh, if you have the right approach, you will be able to uh, address this recruitment process very well, as well as if you have done various different projects, you can proceed towards your startups as well today, because startups now, uh, are like pretty, uh, they're growing, they're growing. And the industry is like moving towards acquiring those products and startups which are already available, which have already been coded, which are already been into the industry and they are solving various purposes. So if you are planning to go towards services, that is fine. But if you have time, let's say if you have a couple of years as of now, so why not build a startup being in college? If it is successful, then it's going to be an amazing experience for you. If it's not, then you always have the options open to go towards service. So both ways you can do because you are in second year and second year or maybe third year. So it, you have a lot of time to get started with a new product wherein we are also planning to come up with various products on process automation and machine learning with credit card based detections and a lot of things we are planning in me, so Mixer, Gash are actually planning a lot of different projects which we can ensure to give it to you so that you all will be able to gain that practical development experience and you can proceed further so sir would you like to add on anything yeah yeah definitely so when when you saw a, a, like a mentioning on the job profile itself kaggle and participation it's basically they know and we know like and you also know right you are fresher you are studying right how is it possible to, you you will get three years or four years of experience it's pretty obvious. So they want you to see whether you are interested out, out, I mean, outside of your study or your career path or something like that. <clears throat> so participate on those. I mean, you don't have to just go directly and code it right away, but understand what are these. And maybe, maybe if you solve a problem, which is already uh, like very high rated and people are looking for that solution, mm -hmm. because my company also look for these participants, I mean, Kegel competition, and we find any solution worthy, we try to acquire it. So the same thing you can do. I mean, not necessarily it has to be acquired, but at least you have done something real in real world that you can mention on your resume. So company will understand, yes, at least you know a knowledge of end-to-end -end product. The, the other thing, like they want you to have explained each and every bit. So first thing is that before you apply for a job on LinkedIn, please create your profile. I mean, I hope that's make the make sense, right? On LinkedIn profile, you have to make it a little strong. I know you guys are fresher. But the knowledge that you have, you can just explain and mention on your uh, resume. I mean, the LinkedIn profile itself. Also, they have started this thing very decently. They have started an assessment on LinkedIn. So let's say if you know Python, you can take this assessment. If you scored more than 70%, they will create tag you as a past in Python. So it's a, another good way to validate yourself, right? You can do on LinkedIn itself. So yeah, that's how you have to prepare domain. Uh, if you see the Philips job, the domain was clearly mentioned. It's medical domain. It's a healthcare domain. So you have to know what is your domain. So that's how you have to prepare. And yeah, uh, that's that's all from my side. I mean, don't take it too much tough. Oh, you have to do this and this. Enjoy. Now you know machine learning. Now it's time to really deploy in real world. And now it is time to, for, you are in the best time. Maybe when after 10 years, everybody knows what is machine learning. So it's like, eh, okay. But this is the time everybody is excited. If you start now, you are in the right phase, right time. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Moreover, in case if you want to stay updated with the trends, we do have a resource known as Gartner Trends. I would like to share my screen again, just to show you how do we identify different trends happening in the company. So there is this concept of Gartner hype cycles. Okay, you can quickly explore Gartner Trends, wherein Gartner hype cycle. What they do, they quickly show you. All technologies will be reaching to plateau of productivity in the coming year. So that's a very nice source of information which you can explore. As well as Gartner has maintained this very nice website wherein all the latest trends of 2019 and upcoming trends, what's going to happen in future, everything they are, they are, uh, they do a survey and then they plot a graph over it. So that you will be able to identify what all is happening. So, guys, I have shown you uh, this graph, wherein the graph is plotted. Since you all are machine learning candidates, I hope you understand the graphs well now. So, there are five stages of a technology. At the very bottom, you can see the first one is innovation trigger. Innovation trigger, as in whenever a new invention happens. Whenever some new technologies comes into research phase, so that is known as innovation trigger. Let's say there was a day when Bluetooth was launched, there was a day when internet was launched. So that phase is known as innovation trigger. Then people start expectations with that technology. Let's say when machine learning came a couple of years back, so people were people were thinking that okay. Where wherever we will apply machine learning, everything is going to be automated. We are going to get every stuff done, but that's actually not true, because machine learning is totally dependent on what uh, what authentic data you have. So the second stage is peak of inflated expectations, wherein people try to identify that wherever this technology can be used, and we can reap out great results out of it. So peak of inflated expectation is something like where the technology is at the top. The technology is in high preference in the industry. Then research happens. After performing research, people try to identify what cases, uh, what are the cases where this technology is actually useful. What are the cases where the technology is failing? So there comes a throw of disillusionment. Throw of disillusionment means. That you actually identify, you clear your illusion, wherein you get to know that if you have a technology, you can use it at what specific places. You are aware about it. Then there is a slope of enlightenment, which is known as when you have the right knowledge about the technology. That these are the cases where it works. These are the cases where it doesn't work. So that is known as slope of enlightenment, wherein you get to know about the technology in depth. And finally, there is plateau of productivity. So, what is plateau of productivity? Industry actually wants a technology to reach on plateau of productivity. The industry starts developing that product when the technology reaches on plateau of productivity, because this ensures the highest bottom line. Highest bottom line means the company will be able to extract maximum profit out of that technology. Because all the research has been done, all the case studies are being identified, and if a company make a product on it, it is going to reap positive outcomes out of it. So these are five things, and on the y-axis you have the expectation. Now, as you yeah, are, as you can see, like your deep neural nets, deep learning. If you see, it, they are up upcoming in two to five years, but it's still like expectation are very high. If you can see that on top, the middle. Yeah, and. Yeah. At the top right corner, if you can see, there is a legend available over here. So what this legend says, the technologies which will reach to plateau of productivity within two years, technologies which will reach plateau of productive productivity uh, at two to five years, technologies which will reach plateau of productivity from five to ten years, and there are certain technologies will which will reach after ten years. So let's say in case. Somehow mistakenly, let's say if you started working on smart dust, okay. So smart dust will reach plateau of productivity in approximately ten years, as you all can see here. If you can see here, it will take approximately more than ten years to reach plateau of productivity. So if you start making a product today, 
nobody is going to buy it because the technology is not explored whether it is going to work or not so this could be a bad selection of the technology being a developer or being into business being uh, into something where you want to make a product and you want the output to come out quickly the revenue to be generated instead in case if you want to generate revenue you should be exploring those technologies which will be reaching to plateau of productivity either in less than 2 years or between 2 to 5 years so if we can see virtual assistants it's reaching in 2 to 5 years deep neural network reaching in 2 to 5 years deep neural network asics reaching in 2 to 5 years 5g is reaching within 2 to 5 years so as of now if you want to work out on a technology where you you want to reap out maximum results you if you want to generate maximum revenue today in the market so you can get started with these technologies wherein you can see as sumit sir already told you that deep neural network is at the highest uh, expectation okay it is quite popular in the industry it is at the peak where you have started working on this technology if you are able to make more products out, out of it you will be able to reap out great results within 2 to 5 years so this one is pretty good as well as iot platform has still to be explored a lot of work is being done on iot but uh, now since uh, the evolution of research has been done a lot of case studies with positives and negatives have been identified so now you can see that it is now coming towards throw of disillusionment and once it reaches to a uh, slope of enlightenment and it reaches to plateau of productivity companies will be reaping out 100% positive results and profitable results out of the market so gartner is one such resource which you can always explore and you can see what all latest technologies which will be coming in future so you can make a product today with that technology which is reaching out to plateau of productivity and start generating revenue and then you can focus your learning towards what is going to come up next okay with respect to your peak of inflation peak of inflated expectations so that you can do so that will make you stay in trends in order to identify what's going on what will happen in future and how i'm going to make the best happen in terms of revenue and in terms of product formation yep true and um I mean, maybe some t- some of people you finding it very heavy, and I, I assume it, right? But the thing is that if you're investing your life like four or five years in doing something, and you get to know, okay, that's not something which is hot, you will feel obsolete in your job. You will feel outcasted in your job. So you don't want to do that. So this is your chance. Learn something which is hot, or maybe in the future, or recently, it's going to come up. So you have both options: working, or maybe a entrepreneur by itself. And you never know. You can. you can do anything if you want i mean that's fine because technology is new and people are looking for solution like from single handed as well or from new companies as well because if i go as a company i have to ask my employees hey can you just learn machine learning and then maybe we'll hire because and we have to hire people which do not have that much deep knowledge because it's a pretty new technology right so it's still it's the same thing but if something is already established you guys have already done pretty good jobs i mean projects on kegel or you have already like good get repository where you have multiple choice so it will be a very good of like option for me to choose you guys over my employees to ask and learn new technologies and everything but yes my employees have experience they know what is architecture they know what is like domain and everything that's why i'm asking you guys to work on that side as well you should know what is cloud google cloud is a best option to learn and i hope all the machine learning models you have deployed there google cloud or microsoft as they are involved everything is moving to cloud so you should know at least what is cloud how to create a instance over there how to deploy a machine what is resources what then python machine learning and algorithms algorithm are why why everybody focus on algorithm one way or other way if machine learning is not hard if ai is hard the core and basic of programming is algorithm you will always be in the market and program and it it's good for you guys because for you maybe it's boring now like you may be looking for a job but you will earn good handsome dollars so maybe like rupees you will understand the reality and hmm. you will just spend uh, your weekends in like good place right without thinking twice or something like that 
So uh, your own motives, your own motivation, that up to you. Maybe somebody wants to buy a Tesla, but Tesla runs on smart technology. So if you guys know already technology, you can buy Tesla or you can, you, you can become an employee of Tesla or something like that. Yep. Yeah, so Any, guys, uh, now we... Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, actually, I have to go for a meeting, but I can I can stay for another ten minutes. But if somebody have any open question for me, so I can you know try yeah, to. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, guys. Uh, any open questions? Please unmute and you can have your questions, or else you can put the questions on chat and I'll just speak it. Send the questions to me on chat and I'll just speak it so that you yeah, get. Feel it. free for any question. Not no question is stupid. That doesn't yeah. matter actually. Yeah. So Trishal wants to know a brief about TensorFlow. Definitely, I'll speak to you on TensorFlow. Don't worry. We are taking up career-related questions as well as technical uh, questions or else um, industrial product, project-based questions, startup-based questions, all that stuff we are available here to answer. Okay, one good resource which I would like to share uh, before you ask a question. So I've shared you uh, the LinkedIn profile, uh, wherein uh, wherein you got to know that what kind of jobs are available. In case if you want, if you are planning for uh, startups, or if you want to understand the startup ecosystem, the funding ecosystem, which is very important today. So I would like to take you to Crunchbase website. Okay, here what you can do is with Crunchbase you can identify what all basic uh, companies are getting funded. What is their last funding date with respect to uh, what all seed rounds they have gone through, how the process is going, what kind of products they are building in. So you can track all that information. Okay. So now let's say uh, Baiju's is going very popular today. So I would like to share one case study with Baiju's, let's say. So I would like to search on Crunchbase for Baiju. So Baiju, as you all can see, it's... Uh, going pretty well and now here are certain results about this let me just save the results okay so here so byju's here is the company you can quickly click over it you can create a free account with crunchbase so as to get more appropriate information about any company so now you can see that Baiju has total four number of acquisitions, which means it has totally bought four different companies. Total funding amount, which it has today is $969.8 million. Okay. Now it's the company started in 2008. Uh, it, the founders were Baiju Ravindran and Divya Gokulnath, which uh, is her wife, which is his wife. Then the funding status currently is private equity. So I would like to share one thing that what kind of uh, equity fundings and how the things proceed in this specific segment. So for that, uh, you can quickly unlock the charts here. I would like to show you the funding rounds. Okay. So you can go for funding rounds here, wherein you can see that total five funding rounds have been done with Baidu's. So if you go to the bottom, at the pretty bottom, how it started. Uh, so sorry, I don't have an account as of here now, but let's say there would be a few seed funds available before 2015. But you can see that in 2015, July 1, Baiju's has got Series B funding. Then in 2016, they got Series C funding. This is the specific series venture, how a company specifically grows. So now if you would like to explore about the funding round, that what has been done and how much money has been invested in, who invested uh, money into this. So all that information is available over here. Moreover, then you have the leading investors who are investing in the specific company. So there was only one investor who invested $25 million and that was Arin Capital who invested on this specific company in 2016. And since then, they have gone various funding rounds and a lot of uh, money they have grabbed it. So Crunchbase is a very nice resource wherein you can quickly extract information about uh, your uh, startup ecosystem and what products are being funded, what all money they have. So if you have that specific information in your mind, you will be able to build up 
your new startup well and we are pretty focused as of now to make different companies from you people i would like to make a team of different people and i would like to form different companies so that we can bring in a lot of investments under the company and we can come up with various products which can offer solutions in the market with respect to machine learning technology in various sections like finance which is one of the topmost which we are focused towards uh, as well as after finance healthcare is growing so we are also focused towards uh, the healthcare segment as well so that we can make up products with respect to research what's happening using machine learning technology make an end to end product the plot and cloud uh, bring in some investment and provide solutions to the people so that's what is the upcoming objectives which we are having uh, now i have certain questions uh, let me just quickly ask that can you suggest some projects on machine learning and deep learning so sumit sir would you like to say something over this yeah i mean when i say project actually uh, if you are asking for a solution from me i would ne never tell you actually but if you are asking for domains i mean uh, already we told you about kaggle once you go over there you will see the domains each and every domain have some specific problems they are itself a project so you, once you write a solution for the which means you are uh, working on a project but let's say if you are interested to know what kind of project you can work on you can work for us as well like maybe down the line we are working for projects uh, what so first of all you need to define where you can apply your machine learning let's say if a customer service like my company has a customer service if i know already about my customers if i know about when we having a call can we analyze that particular call text to speech and then see the sentiment analysis whether the customer was satisfied or not and when we are offering someone doing advertisement to someone the response coming from the customer should i consider it as a positive response or not so that kind of thing also the fraud detection every day when you purchase like from your credit card or any card so you do uh, transactions so i want to see as per your patterns of transaction whether the next uh, transaction could be a fraud or not and let's say i know your patterns i know your spendings so i can track your patterns and create a model that i know in this month this customer will spend that much so according to that i can give you offers i can give you services or i can suggest you something let's say i know like you're going to book a travel uh, like uh, you maybe you are searching on cookies or something tra like travel or something that i can recommend you something but kaggle is a website kaggle is this place that they want you is showing it has the data set it has the real world problems it has uh, like discussion with with going on and it has like almost everything so you can see each and every like domain each and every project each and every solution that other people has offered you can go to their git and check so he he is already showing right so these are the uh, even if you see federal election commission like in 2016 campaign they just put it over there and gafa stock prices so there are a lot of projects are there already yes absolutely so there are a lot of data sets available along with uh, bitcoin historical data credit card clients data set wherein you can quickly identify patterns among the credit credit card clients and you can make up uh, specific options like credit card fraud detection uh, huge stock market data sets are available how to lend loans to people so all these basic information is available so let's say and if i was saying these that these are all like exactly this is i'm looking forward so you don't know like how valuable are these information they are just one project but if i know every day we are facing 1 million of fraud transaction if i able to stop i will able to save a lot of money if i know my customer i can recommend them best and i can re make revenue same thing you have to do this you have to figure out the right solution yeah so guys as you all can see this is a very nice data available approximately 1.1 gb wherein a lot of features are available and you can quickly make out a product on development of how credit card company should offer loan to the individuals so if you want to see an end product okay so there are so many companies which are available today uh, if you can quickly see online loan transfer app okay so there is a huge list of applications uh, i'll take you to play store play.google.com instant loan apps you can quickly see instant loan so the project which i have shown you on kaggle that how to quickly 
how to quickly uh, you, you are searching in entertainment i guess yeah yeah the apps here so there are there will be so many applications like okay my apps no no sorry uh these are my apps okay play.google.com slash apps okay let's say india bulls instant loan okay so what these applications say you download this application if you have a civil score quickly within 5 seconds or within 10 seconds you can get a loan directly in your bank account okay so the loan starts from 1000 rupees to 10 lakh rupees so let's say there is this application known as india bulls dhani app now what they do uh dhoni is advertising this application wherein you can take an instant loan from 1000 to 50 lakh rupees wherein the interest percentage is 1 to 3.7% and what you have to do just you have to specify your information you have to put in your pan number your information will go to a central server that at that central server there is an application like a machine learning code available that whether we should lend loan to this consumer or not so if the application says yes will uh, lend the loan then the information will go to india bulls it will track that amount whatever loan is required and it is going to return it back to the consumer's account so this is how machine learning came into existence with this financial application so if you make a highly accurate uh, machine learning model with 99% accuracy which if it can predict uh, accuracy whether the loan has to be given or not then your solution will definitely be accept, expect, accepted in the market and you will take a lot of you will be able to make out a lot of money so the thing which you need to do is you need to identify the best mathematical equation which can fit the case and which can change with respect to new features and variables coming in data because data is going to increase your variables will also going to increase as soon as more and more specifications will be accounted so you should be able to prepare those algorithms which can scale with respect to changes in uh, in the original data which is coming so this is one example there is a list of uh, applications available which you can quickly see at the right hand side there is ei money online loan personal loan instant personal loan there are so many companies available which which are selling loans today so they use these kinds of products okay so this is one such thing now i have a couple of more questions which i would like to quickly take up now the second question a person asks sir which with dss like data iku anyone who can operate computer and manage data very well within a few weeks training so why should companies hire data engineers at high pay so uh, sir would you like to say anything on this yeah yeah sure sure okay there is one important thing that you guys need to know when you are developing something yes we need developers i mean we we know like you know, have computer knowledge and everything but you are a valuable resource because when you work in a different environment like big environment right one person cannot handle it to be honest number of transaction you will see you will say what what what's going on over here so you first of all of be with your smart skill because we the reason is that why we have to pay you high first thing is that resources are less available in the market there are a lot of competitor of mine if i pay you high you will stick to me you will come to me and if i pay you high you are satisfied you are writing a right code good solution but i know the real value if i pay you 100k us dollar i will earn from you 1 million dollar per month so that's the reason i know it's just a investment but there are a lot of fishes in the market so i have to pay you right because this technology is pretty new limited resources so i have to if i pay you good if you are valuable then you will give a productive product to me and i will sell it out in a higher prices but uh, the uh, other part is that like why why they are paying higher anybody can learn it that's not true anybody can learn machine learning but when you go into the real environment it's not only the machine learning part as i'm telling you it's you should know what is domain so a manager or a product owner know his domain each and everything but for you you doesn't even know what's going on you are just writing a program but you don't know where does it fit so your program will a single single module like a python has a library right each module 
let's say you writing a program with just one module but the real picture is different so don't assume like if you know everything you know everything it's a big platform it's a collaboration and always show your team spirit right so that that kind of mentality will actually help you but if you say you know everything i'm so sorry but that's not the right, right thing because now if you're learning machine learning are you done no algorithms big data domain platform and then comp- uh, system design it's another important thing every company is asking for because they don't want a, just a developer who's sitting on the bench corner and asking for a good money they want a person who when the real por- problem let's say my customer a billionaire customer like jeff bejos is performing a transaction and all of a sudden it failed that time you will say oh i know i only machine learning i don't care about others so no that's not going to help you are fired right away you need to know each and everything and they are giving you right money so at least in your profile you are strong and also you are ready to learn new things so that's how it is uh, to be honest i hope uh, you guys are clear with that yeah so uh, now the next question is so which type of project we should work on so that they can help us in getting placed in campus placement oh uh, so again same thing find your domain when i say domain don't worry about domain find your interest maybe you are interested in self driving cars maybe you are interested in google services like the uh, gmail and there are a lot of services like apps maybe you are st- uh, interested in apps like on play, play store so find your domain and in that domain find go into kegel and find the what are the real world problems and what can you work so do work on that don't you don't have to worry about like credit cards when you are not interested in finance at all you are more worried about like robotics you are more about like nasa and all those things depends i mean not always i i always give you the big examples if you don't think big you will not get big right so if you are preparing for a big already the other companies you are already covered for that you are good for that so uh, uh, yeah that that's how it is right so don't say i will give you one project and you will come up say my project is done now, now what's next no identify your interest identify your domain and keep working on those project one day you will become an employee one day you are giving a solution as a company to that profile so that's how it is and uh, uh, looks like they want you like people are getting confused like they are i know like once you know something you said when to start which project should i work okay take a seat back learn still technologies find your interest say okay this and look other people what they have done in the industry and then start okay so oh, next question okay so next uh, i have mm parmeet singh from where we get good study practical material to do more in ml and image processing so in order yeah. to get more data sets there are so many data set repositories like uh, you have uh, uci data sets available you can go to uh, datasets.org uci data set repository you can collect a lot of data from there as well as with respect to every individual domain like medical domain you you can get data from uh, national cancer institute if you want to make a product on cancer prediction if you want to uh, make product on brain segmentation detection or brain tumor detection you can proceed towards uh your brats data set uh, wherein a lot of clinical researches have already been done and the data has been collected and the data is benchmarked so you can understand the core uh, part behind the domain and then you will be able to make a product out of it moreover uh, so there are so many projects on brain tumor segmentation you can make credit card fraud detection product you can go for process automation so i would like to show you one more wherein you will be able to uh, see what all various things you can do uh, here it is let me show you uh, so i would like to show you uh, various projects uh, which you can which you can go for uh, in case if you want to make up a business ready product so you can go here automationanywhere.com/botstore uh you can go here uh, let's say there are so many products here botstore here 
So one of the most important things happening in the industry today is development of a digital workforce. So here, as you all can see, I would like to show you certain case studies, uh, what kind of products Google, Microsoft, they are building in with respect to automation technology, with advanced machine learning stuff. So uh, here. Just give me a moment. We'll go here, go to the bot store. Now, let's say if you want to work out on an individual, on a specific industry. Finance and accounting, human resources, you can select which discipline you are interested in. If you want to work towards finance, accounting or human resources or IT, inventory management, manufacturing companies, sales companies, shipping and distribution, supply chain management and support services. You can select a specific industry. And if I show you, you can also go category wise. So if you want to make a machine learning product category wise as well. So here are certain applications, industrial applications available for artificial intelligence, cognitive automation, collaboration, insights, productivity, security, utility. So these are various different bots which are available. So if I show you an example, let's say I would like to go for finance and accounting. Let's say I'm working for a company known as American Express and I want to make a product which American Express would like to take or would like to buy. So I'll go to finance and accounting and let's say I have a bot store somewhat like account payable payment system. This is made by Oracle. They also use it. Then there are various other like contact directory management for the payable supplier, supplier creation, uh, receivable invoice creation, uh, accounts receivable recepts. So these are automatically automated process which you can do smartly with machine learning. So now here, if you can see, uh, here are certain uh, quick links available about uh, how Oracle is using this specific application and what all things they do. So this bot generates receipts from AR professionals, incoming emails and updates payment receipt transactions on a Oracle database. So what happens is as soon as a person has sent the mail with respect to whatever invoice or whatever payment information it has. So from that email, it is going to read that information, make a receipt of that transaction and specify that information into a database so that manually a person should not do it. Okay. So there are various stuff like process automation, which you can quickly get started, wherein you can design different products uh, with respect to the question which you have asked. So I would like to address uh, the question again, just to ensure. So from where you can get good study material. So for study material, you can go to different data sets. You can explore various different sites, what all products are being developed. And one more for image search is PyImage search.com if you want to perform uh, if you want to perform image analysis or video detection or crime detection that kind of products if you want to make you can quickly go to pyimagesearch.com which is a very nice uh, repository wherein various different products on object detection camera detection, crime detection are available along with code and implementation. So I have searched one object detection with deep learning and open CV. I would like to show you what kind of products you can make here. So let's say there is this uh, a camera is on wherein a person is identified and a dog is identified with highest accuracy in a live situation. And then there are different players are being identified who has a baseball globe and all that stuff. So you can quickly make up these kinds of product. Uh, so you can use efficient deep neural networks to design it as well as what all code is required in Python. So that's also available over here. Step by step, you can build up these products and you can use them as a study material for uh, exploring or identifying different uh, image processing techniques, you can identify, learn from here, as well as you can perform machine learning using cameras and various other depth sense cams and various other stuff. So here, if you see that this is a live image, wherein horse, person, 
potted plant and a lot of other different information is being identified over here so these are certain good resources for image analysis and uh, finally i have firtos okay uh acha ji so let me just send that message to yash sharma yash let me uh, no ye firtos kon hai ek bar bhejna batana iska photo bhejna mujhe so i have sent you a message uh, sent to us by firtos kumar but i cannot read it out here i'm so sorry for that uh any more questions so since we are live so i cannot speak that message out but definitely i'll see you mr fertels kumar very soon okay so uh, no more questions uh, left so that's all for the day that's all for this interaction session and let's uh, just wind up this session today and we'll bring in more such sessions with interactions with various important people in the industry those who are doing live work those who are making good products for international organizations where in billion soft transactions are being done and a lot of data is being accounted so stay tuned and post this what you can do is you can proceed towards your big data programs because as you all can see it's coming in demand a lot of people are asking in uh, that if you are done with machine learning now you should deal with large amount of data because in industry when you will interact with the real projects a lot of data is involved and if you are able to deal with that data you will be able to make out good products so thank you everyone if you have any more questions left you can share your questions with us over email or on admin at hackwitha.in or else on whatsapp or anywhere we'll compile those questions and we'll bring in more such sessions thank you so much thank you so much sumit sir for being available and thank you so much yash for organizing this uh, would you like to say something yash to all the participants please I I guess you are muted, Yash. Okay, so thank you, Sumit sir and Devanshu sir, for coming up in this session, and thank you all the participants who are there with us. So I hope you all are clear now how you can proceed further. Try solving Kaggle problems. Okay, as Sumit sir said, you need to strong your data structure and your algorithm part as well. Create your strong profiles on LinkedIn and. keep practicing python machine learning and deep learning okay and in case if you are having any doubt you can mention us on trello you can send me whatsapp message or you can even mail us okay so your trello cards are activated okay so you can mention us over there as well okay so thank you all the participant for today's this interactive session okay thank you guys thank you yash uh, there is a question actually uh, they want you to see how to make data structure strong my answer is study <laughs> <laughs> yeah so to make data structure you have that resource uh, uh, which we used for understanding arrays and linked lists i think i have already shared that with all of you uh, again let me just share that with you uh, just give me a moment so that resource was visual go visual go dot net so this is a visual implementations of all the algorithms and data structures which you can actually explore so most importantly all the data structures are addressed over here which comes under competitive uh, questions for these companies like you have seen there were questions related to hash table so if you want to understand hash table and all that stuff so there is a complete chapter by chapter information on this website visualgo.net so you can you can understand all the concepts conceptually first and you can also perform 
visual implementations along with algorithm that how every individual algorithm is implemented so if you uh, would like to take my opinion on data structures visualgo.net is one of the best uh, web resource available wherein you can actually explore all types of data structures like binary search tree dfs bfs heaps graph structures union find data structures segment trees fenwick trees recursions graph traversal bfs dfs and all that stuff network flows shortest path minimum spanning tree so whatever is available whatever generally is being asked in the industry it's mentioned on this site and you can visually understand it so that is a very nice resource to uh, understand data structures well yep but i will not change my statement i will still say study yeah so you have to study <laughs> so resource would not do anything you have to explore them you have to study so that you will be able to understand the concepts well and the most important part is execution and practice the more you practice the more you will be able to implement concepts well and you will be able to identify problems and you will be able to make out uh, solutions easily so if you practice then it's going to be very easy for you. Yeah, it's easy for you guys to study now because one way or other way, once you are in the job and your data structure is not performing well, you have to study. You have to go back to basics again. So it's better to start from now. So you have a base already ready for your future. So moreover, uh, you can go for data structures course as well, along with Yash sir, as well as us. So that option is also available. So how to uh, make data structures strong? Join Hackweda, you will get. data structure strong as well as in case if you want to go further on big data and various advanced technologies you can proceed that way yeah that's all i mean we have a lot of offers and like resources but the answer is same study because the reason is that end the end company will ask for each and everything so it's up to you how you prepare you can take courses you can do it but you have to put your own effort to be honest actually and if you are planning big there is no short route possible if you if you are planning to go to google or facebook they are going to extract and test each and every piece of information you have and only then they are going to hire you so, so there could be there could be like if people think they are references and all this just to be very clear references are like concept like let's say i am in company i will refer you so it's just bring a confidence okay this person if i i have to ask or do any verification i can do through him but reference will benefit me not you guys i'll get some uh, like bonus or something some amount if you get hired but that's different thing all big companies or good companies they don't care how much relation you have like reference and all do not indulge in this because if you indulge in that they will compromise your asking of salary then you cannot ask anything they will offer you something but if you have your own like learnings own you have crack your interview then you have a, like a like your own position to ask for a salary which you are expecting salary or maybe whatever the, the way it is so don't involve on those things and you know linkedin is a right platform if you want to make connection make connection there get a recommendation and refer from there so that's all i want to say about the company but there's no shortcut at all to be honest okay so, so was a great interactive session thank you so much sir for being available thank you mr yash for conducting this and sharing your experience with all the participants during summers i hope you guys uh, have done some good projects and there are so many more projects to come uh, but we expect a little uh, discipline from you all in case if you found any activity like any indiscipline activity identified the same day we are going to cancel whatever we have offered okay moreover uh, in case if uh, there are so many more projects and options and offers and things we are planning in to bring in because we actually have a lot of resources but if you would like to grab something from us you need to understand that you have to be pretty active uh, in whatever responsibilities are given to you if you are ready to take those responsibilities we promise and we assure that you are going to extract a lot of information from us okay thank you so much for being available yep thank you so much everyone thank take you. care cheers